I've just concluded. Can you hear me? Put on your bird. Put the bird in its nest. Oh! All right. I like this app a little more today. Not that I'm not less a problem. You hear me say. But it's not me to boast, and that's not what I'm boasting. I'm not boasting. I went down there, and I did the performance. And I did it like a fucking professional. I cried a little bit, as would be expected. Not as much as I thought I might when I really started crying. That was way before I went. That's true. I've stopped for many days. I haven't needed to cry. I share my tears. I didn't plan very much. Almost not a bit. But I had took this and it seemed appropriate. You gonna catch the dream spell rhythm? I don't know. I cannot say. It felt right with me. There it went and stayed. I took back my two swords. One is very small. It's a letter opener. But it looks like Excalibur. Since I left them, river had been high. Up to the hilt near was the one sword. The Solomon sword was very much in the water with just the top poking out. The river was way lower than that when I first went out there and checked it out to see if I could go during the time I had my dad's event for the public. I guess you can call it that. It's true, but this was very personal. I was never sure I'd have anybody there. And not only did I have all the invisible nature spirits, they did approve and cheer me on, and I felt that shit. And I got up, and as is appropriate... I banged my damn old toe. And there's blood. I can see it red as hell. And that made perfect sense to me because I do know that there's always a little bit of blood if there's anything real. Now, before I went, I took my pen in hand. What did you write? I wrote what I wrote to constrain to my body my magical persona so that it would stay within the bounds appropriate, not all willy-nilly, all about the place. What good does that do? A hell of a lot of good, I think. If it's my magical persona, it should be on my physical body. Not running around, fucking women in old places we lived at, and getting the cops called on Does he have permissions in the head? There's no permissions about the head. Explain. Snickle Fritz. And to my body, I commit. So he's not running rampant and doing all wall shit. Because that's what he would do. And that he was damn good. And now he is no longer... able to withstood my compulsion or my presence as surely it is me it wasn't some magic that lived in no tree it wasn't some other thing other than me and that I say and clearly can see and when I got to the bottom I met here, here's Bob you may not be able to see him but there he is tell him hello Bob Bobby, you want to get on the plant? Bobby, you'd like the plant. Don't fucking move, Bobby. He doesn't like... He does like it. He's just old. Bob, grab my hand. Get on my finger. Bob was a pretty old dragonfly, but he wasn't no spring chicken. He knew what he liked and what he loved. I know, Bob. Bob, relax. Bob is actually waiting at the bus stop down there for the spirits. Now, the river is a bus station to some degree, okay? Now, Bob is afflicted physically... And has had a full life. He's made it. His wings are warped and rippled. Now in this matter, I have I have a little bit of sternness.
for a person because I've experienced this um, dragonfly experience where some of the dragonflies that came out and then were not right. They couldn't fly. Their ring, wings were not right. They didn't ever harden properly. And in this experience, I have my friend 27 also involved because a time before I experienced this, she not fully aware, but she provided the word of death and he died. And that one wasn't right. And yes, I still cried. I alone knew and watched with my eyes for the magic they say does exist. And now I can say in better a way, you cannot see it, and yes, it lives. You cannot see it, you can feel it, you can smell it at times. And if you ain't right, it'll smell like fucking piss and shit. But like roses if you're pure, and honeysuckles too. You'll smell them from where they're not, and it's spirits, that is true. They do this to encourage us. I think that is right. And sometimes I need it in the darkest of night. Why am I trying to rhyme? I'm not sure, but in a way it feels right. And this is how I practice and get through stage fright. 